recording? Yep. Hello everyone, it's Lynette with Charm Grammy Crochet. How you doing today? It is, uh, when this video goes up, it will be Friday, May 7th. <laughs> what? Uh, a month I'm in, oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> I'm a little tired today. Uh, so anyway, it will be Friday, May 7th, and this is uh, Charm Chatter number 200. Welcome to my yarn room today. Uh, this is a special video. Uh, first of all, I want to thank all my subscribers for being here, for returning, for coming back again. Um, and this is a special video because uh, I got contacted by Rose from Rose Likes Crochet. Y'all know Rose, right? I was stunned. She emailed me and she asked for my help. So, you know, she does the wings thing. Um, wings is uh, breaking the cycle of domestic violence. So the mission of Wings program is to provide housing, integrated services, education, and advocacy to end domestic violence. Wings provides a pathway to independence for adults and children who are escaping from domestic violence and abuse. Our goal is to provide tools and support necessary to ensure that victims can escape their abusers and begin building new violence-free lives. Come on, guys. Great cause, right? We all know that. They provide safe housing, counseling, planning, mentoring programs. And this is in the Chicago area. I'm sure that everyone has um, something like this in your own area. But uh, Wings is in need, it, it, Wings for Rose, is in need of wash rags for the month of October. So she asked if I would help uh, make some wash rags. I said, sure, I'll make you some wash rags. But we also want to encourage y'all to make some wash rags. Uh, any wash rags. So Rose sent me <laughs> with the little letter that she sent. She sent me <laughs> a red heart scrubby and to help get me started on making wash washcloths, which I rose. I have washcloth through the yarn. No problem. I can do it. We're looking for cotton. Um, but with the scrubby, I am going to, this is a pattern uh, from Mad Mimi at uh, Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming. It is a back scratcher. So you use the scrubology and you hold it with your regular cotton, like kitchen cotton kind of yarn together and you make a scrubby part and then you make a handle part. And I went a little long because I did this in the car um, <laughs> when, when we were traveling and I'm like, I need a big one so I can reach far to go down my back. So I, I made it longer than normal, but the scrubby part is really good and you can use it on your bottoms of your feet really well. I totally love this so I think I might include some of these with what I'm going to send to Rose um, I am uh, and you can make and this is the challenge right here here is the challenge oh I forgot something hold on we'll pause okay we're good so here's the challenge um they need cotton washcloths and I'm going to send her some. Uh, I'm going to send her, I think, a couple of back scratchers. I made, you can send any kind you want. I made this one day. It was like one of my first washcloths. It's big. Probably bigger than what it needs to be. But I just was practicing making a circle. So there's really no pattern. It's just a crocheted circle. Round and round. It's been used. I use this. I use this in conjunction with this all the time. <laughs> so you can use round these are ones that have not been used, but I've made these. Um, I was doing a 50 stitches wash rag thing or something. I don't know. I never finished it, but I had several. So there's just the back and forth double crochet. This one is a corner to corner with two different color yarns. So it would be pretty and different. This one is a um, what do they call that? Solid granny. And then uh, as a border, I put the scrubby in case you had, 
you know, you want to exfoliate or whatever, whatever you do. Uh, so these are just some that I made and they're different sizes. I don't think that really matters. Uh, I made them according, these were all made according to, uh, uh, 50, it wasn't a 50 stitches, but I can't remember. Anyway, there's a ton and a half of tutorials out there on how to make, uh, different kinds of wash, wash, washcloths. If you have a specific washcloth that you totally love to make, great. If you want to do like I did and just wanted to practice how you increase in a circle. So I did, and I made it a washcloth. That's great too. Um, if you send, this is the challenge part. Wings needs these for October. I am going to send what I make to uh, all the ones that I make uh, between now and August 31st. I'm going to send to Rose on September 1st. That way I'll have plenty of time to get to her. She can go through and do whatever she needs to do to get them by October to her wings group. Anyone that sends washcloths to me, I will forward them to Rose as long as I have them by August 31st. You send me a washcloth, I will write your name on a ticket or a paper, I have a, whatever, uh, and I'm going to enter you in a drawing. On September 1st, I'm going to and as as they come in we'll just send them to my p.o box and as they come in i'll show you oh look we got this just kind of like rose does for her wings thing um you know this is what came in i'll let you guys know what's come in how many have come in for every washcloth that gets sent to me by by august 31st your name will go into a drawing for every one. You'll get one entry for every washcloth you send me one washcloth you get one entry you send me 35 washcloths, you get 35 entries uh, for every washcloth. And you can send all at once or you can send little by little. Uh, I know the yarn community comes together and does wonderful, wonderful things because I have been a part of our gifts of love for Sharon. And the generosity is astounding. I know summertime is coming and people still like to crochet, but it's hot and you don't want to crochet something big. Washcloths easy breezy and they're not hot and they're fast instant gratification no reason not to make one here and there send it to me and i will put your name for each one as long as i have them by the 31st because on the first i'm going to do a video i'm going to show oh look this is the ones that i have um or maybe it will be the second depending on how many i get on the 31st so don't wait till the last minute because I got to write everybody's name down and then I got to put them in a, but I'll do that as they come in. Um, but if I get 900 of them on the 31st, uh, it's going to slow me down a minute, <laughs> but I will love that. So don't get me wrong. So here's the deal. Your names will go in the hat of jar or whatever it's going to take. Hopefully something really huge and you will win the coveted, a coveted, not this one because this is not a perfect one but you will win a coveted stained glass yarn ball. Um, I know that a lot of people would love to buy these and I know that I am in the process of making many of them for uh, people that donated for our gifts of love. Greatly appreciate that. And people are emailing me, how can I buy one? You can't. I decided um, with the Our Gifts of Love that I was not going to make them for sale. Um, because a couple of reasons, not that they're all that fantastic, but they're very time consuming to make. And I don't want it to be a job. It's, it's like my crochet. It's stained glass. I enjoy doing it. I hadn't done it in a long time and this has brought me back to it. And I really do enjoy doing it. But now I'm making like a dozen of them, more than a dozen, two dozen of them all in a row. And it's trying to get them out as quickly as possible. So be aware of that. Um, but then it's becoming a chore and I don't want it to be a chore because it's my, it's my hobby, you know, 
I'm sure you understand. So they will never, or at this point, I don't ever plan on them being for sale. Maybe at some point, but I plan on them being for things like this. Um, I will use them as prize winnings for my channel. Uh, Jaxie is using one for a prize winning on her channel. Uh, and we use them for our gifts of love. And that's how they're going to be given away. So uh, at this point, I only want them to be used as giveaways for like really special occasions. And so that's what's going to be the prize. So every wash rag gets you into the drawing. And on September 1st, I will show all the wash rags that we've received up through August 31st. I mean, you know, in a group. <laughs> Look, this is how many we got kind of thing. I'm not going to because that might take forever. Um, I hope that that would be like the case. And every entry, every washcloth will get you an entry. And that will be the prize that hopefully will be drawn on September 1st. And I will box them all up that come to me and they will be shipped off to Rose for her wings uh, donations for, our, for August or uh, October. But we this will end with me on August 31st. Um, prize to be drawn tentatively I'm saying on September 1st because like I said if I go to my post office box after work on uh, I believe August 31st is a Tuesday if I go there and I am overwhelmed with boxes then it might take me more than one evening to get it uh, you know get it together uh, to do to do a video and a drawing um, with everybody's name you know you know what I mean you got the I'm sure you got the idea so that is the challenge we are going to make washcloths for chances to win a wonderful prize. Well, I mean, I think they're pretty. <laughs> um, but you'll get a chance to win the prize. And most importantly, you will be helping a wonderful cause. So that is what this video is about today. Um, I wish you all much crochet success at washcloths. You know, if you're bored and don't know what to make, I'm just... You know, it could be scrap yarn. It doesn't matter. Make a washcloth. Send it to me. My P.O. box is in the bottom of all of my videos. Uh, and I am anxious to have it filled up with washcloths every day. <laughs> Starting tomorrow. <laughs> so if you have a bunch of washcloths that you don't know what to do with, like I did. <laughs> I had a few. Uh, these will definitely... Well, not, not this one. Because, obviously, that's mine. I'm not going to send you do not send used washcloths. I hope I don't have to say that. But anyway, just make some washcloths. Send them to me. Get your name entered in a drawing. We'll have a good time. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, subscribing, sharing. Share this video with your friends and their friends and their friends. Anybody that you know that crochets, weaves, Weaving is good. Looming. I think you could probably loom washcloths. Um, why not? So we'll take any fibery washcloth. Weave it. Loom it. Crochet it. Knit it. I don't know of any others. If there's more, do it. <laughs> Send them to me. I want to be overwhelmed with washcloths. Thanks so much. Have a great yarny day. See you in the next video. Bye.